posse, calling the Rangers. You killed my brother Jared, remember? Then y'all ran off like cowards before I could find you. Well, now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk, cause you was too chicken to save them. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. And if you don't want them to be the next to die in the day lose your blood, you better come up north and take their place. <laughs> Real funny, Rangers. Real fucking funny. I caught one before they all got in the door. Well, how do you like their jokes? The rest of them go when I get bored, Rangers. So you better hurry, cause I was born restless. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed, and these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Oh, fuck! 44! Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44? Ah, <sighs> lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A-44 is hauling new power armor for the Marshals. It is. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. Scared of a few mercs? I won't give you to Slave Master Archie. I'm gonna keep you for myself. You can watch me murder rangers for years. When you finally lose hope, we'll use your head as a hood ornament. <sighs> Let's get started after I take your supplies.
inside! You cannot escape! Yes.
Who the hell are you guys? Here to finish me off? Rangers are real? Thought that was a joke. To give people hope. My ribs are cracked. Our caravan's been ransacked. I'm drivetrain. Caravan leader. If you save my people, I'll owe ya. Only two? Fuck. We had ten people. Ten! Sorry. That's two more than we would have had without you. Three, I suppose. Thank you, Rangers. We'll start patching ourselves and the vehicles. Get rolling to Colorado. We'll make it thanks to you. I'll let Arapaho HQ know what the Rangers did. I suppose we don't need all our traveling stocks since everyone's dead. Take it. Stop this from ever happening again. Gonna need some time for the endorphins to wash out the pain. But yeah, get any survivors into the cab. We'll get back on the road, Arapaho HQ. We'll get someone out here to recover the deceased. I don't know the details. Clients prefer that, but the highest value goods always go in the middle of the convoy. I'm glad the scar collectors couldn't break into it before you showed up. Poke around if you want, but you'll see what we had for the marshals when they receive it. If I can get this caravan to Colorado Springs. Happen fast, Rangers. Routine run until we got here. Was riding in the center vehicle with our cargo. Lead vehicle hit a spike trap, tore up its treads, almost plowed into them. Driver recovered, a professional, with a young daughter back home. Fuck. Flame and us came rolling. <laughs> out of the alley, pinned the rear car, then gunfire. And those assholes with saws for arms came at us. Those fuckers must have been watching our roots for a while to have pulled this off. We're more organized than before. Thanks for all your help. Just, they got the jump on us. Let's get them. 
Easy now, cousins. Before we get to the killing, I'm gonna give these Hotlanders the chance to apologize for killing my brother Jared. Go on, Rangers. Tell us how sorry you are. You call that an apology? You think a hundred apologies like that would make up for killing my baby brother? Listen up, you cat-loving simp! My name is Erastus Dorsey of the Dorsey clan, and we were sent by God to find you, hunt you, and wipe you from the face of the earth. But now, you gone and killed my brother. So I'm adding my own wrath to the wrath of God. This ain't just the deluge of blood anymore. It's vengeance. I'm gonna peel off an inch of your skin for every tear I shed over the death of that poor, sweet angel boy. And rangers, I shed a thousand. You taunt me again with Jared's death? Oh, then the time for talking is over. God says it's time for the skinning knife. <laughs> God will never desert the Dorseys. Ain't that right, cousins? What the... Are you scared of these fools? <laughs> Look at him shaking. I think that one wet his pants. Hey, did you wet your pants? Stand your ground, you cowards, or it will be your guts in these hands. Now fight! <laughs> We got this.
Toss.
for the help, strangers. We ain't seen a scrap like that in, what, ten years? Twelve, I reckon. But where's our manners? My name's Avi Hoon, and this here's my husband, Angus. Pleased to meet you. You strangers saved our whole family from those bushwhackers. Except for poor Dee Dee. Who are you folks, anyway? Desert Rangers? Well, that's a new one on me. But we're always the last to get news, living way up here. Tell you what, we ain't got much money, but we got more bullets stashed than we'll ever need. Back when we were young, we were always saving for the next shit. That ain't near enough for saving our lives, but maybe it'll help keep you safe. Questions? Okay, let's hear them. Sure is. You've got a good eye. That gun was handmade by our son, Alistair, back when he joined the Patriarch's Marshals. Being a hoon, he figured he could make a better rifle than the standard issue. As you can see, he was right. Didn't save him, though. Some yahoo shot him down while he was trying to break up a fight. The gun's all we have left of him. So we like to keep it close. Been a few years now. Still proud of him, even though he's gone. I miss my brother Alistair. When's he coming home? You guys love those Darcy's, yeah! I was covering the back door the whole time. Oh, I would have saved you guys if they tried to sneak up behind you. She's cold.
look. Billy and Dean have taken a shine to you. Well, that's a first. Watch your fingers, Rangers. What a cute little fella you got there. I ain't never seen a real cat before, except no picture books. I like his taste in hats. Was that a cat thing, wearing hats? Well, I'll be damned. Wish I'd been around to see that. Maybe I can rustle him up some chow. You like beets, little fella? How about some nice cabbage? Seems much interested. I guess he ain't hungry right now. Never even heard of him. We get some strange folk up here, and other things that ain't folk at all. But I don't recall any Dorseys. They're one of the original hundred families, Mr. Hoon. From down in Colorado Springs. We thought they'd been wiped out. But they've been hiding all these years. Huh. I thought the hundred families was high class. Them folks was not high class. Only that it's full of alarms and sleeping bots. Angus and I peeked in there a few times, but we knew better than to wake them up. Back before the bombs fell, a whole lot of folks built hidey holes around here. Some of them were awful fancy too. The families in charge of Colorado Springs are all descended from folks like that. Ornery, independent thinking types. Hear that, Angus? The toaster was fixable. Well, I knew that. Just didn't feel like eating toast. But thanks, strangers. Appreciate it. Mostly by hunting game and growing crops in the greenhouse. Before the deluge of fire, Folks say there were all kinds of good things to eat. Now, all we got is beets, mushrooms, and cabbage. They have broccoli down in the city. And parsnips, too. What we wouldn't give for a decent parsnip. A good man. He's kept Colorado alive for 50 years. Some folks might have gripes against him, but we don't pay him no mind. We're old enough to remember the bad times before the Patriarch. Raiders, thieves, and wild men everywhere. That all stopped when the Patriarch took charge. Well, until those Dorseys showed up at our door. If you're ever up this way again, stop in and say hello. You're always welcome, Ram.
How are you feeling, car? Unable to process. Please repeat query. Never mind. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. I won't. I never do. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting! I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. Now I can actually do things. It's incredible! He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. A time machine. Did I say that one already? What? Is that a good idea? Uh, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. You're seriously gonna go through with this? Wow. Okay, well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone, so if anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them now put your palm on the machine right here Hey, this one can talk. <laughs> 